Hi there, thanks for um, clicking on this video again. This whole video is going to be about how we go about estimating population parameters from a sample. And the method we usually use to do that is by using something which I'm going to call, well, we generally call estimators. So, in general, we have a population. So we spoke about what this could be before. So um, this could be a population of all the countries in the European Union, for example. It could be a population of products, which a company sells. And the example which I'm going to talk about here is going to be the under 18 um, population um, within the UK. And we spoke about how there might be some underlying population process, whereby on average, um, there is an effect which one year of education, well, an incremental effect of one year education has on wages, um, which is given here in a population by beta, or I'm actually calling it beta p. Um, in general, however, we don't have um, an entire population um, of data. We only have a sample from that. So. And let's say we might have sort of a thousand individuals. Uh, I'm not saying we get all our sample of individuals just from this one particular spot. Maybe we get one from here up in the north of England. Maybe we get one from here in Wales, etc. And I'm just saying that we don't have the full amount of population data to work with. And in this sample, we need to figure out a method um, which uses the sample data to estimate what this, or to come up with an estimate of the population parameter. And the tool which we use for this in econometrics is something which we call estimators. So what is an estimator? Well, the idea with an estimator is that you feed in sort of sample data to this thing, which I'm going to call beta hat. Normally we use hats when we're talking about um, estimators. Um, so this is the sample data is fed in as an input, and then it outputs an estimate of our population parameter. So note that there is a difference between an estimator, which is in general some sort of mathematical function, and beta star, which is just a sort of point estimate of um, the population parameter. Um, the former being a function, the latter just being some sort of value perhaps $50. We need to think about what properties we would like our estimator to have. What, what does it mean to be a good estimator? Um, and that's what we're going to talk about in the next video. See you then.